Hello again, everyone. So this is going to be a match between our face and always doing hardcore damage. This will be the losers bracket of Ra's Flux list tournament. Let's go in. So one note is uh, I actually made a mistake in the last match, like the previous match that I recorded. Um, I actually missed one's banned skill on OVO. So OVO took lightning touch and banned skill and they were disqualified because of it, so they lost that match. And now because of it, they're down in the losers bracket playing against Easy HD. Alright, so OVO this round is running a Bob style build. We've got Assassin, uh, one Ellie, Ranger Warrior, Mez, Crippling Anguish. So they're running a Shatterstone Ellie and Crippling Anguish. So they've got a lot of snakes, they haven't got many res. They've only got one res on Golby, and I think it's Renew Life. It's that touch skill and healing res. So, and I think that Bottage is running charge. Now, on ADHD, you got double frontline, one ranger, double mesmer. So they're also running Crip Anguish, but they're running, they're running one Crip Anguish, one Don Mez. Uh, Crip Anguish will be TJ or Malcolm Hex. And they're running a Rick Flagger, who I believe has Water Trident and Ice Prism. So both teams have quite a lot of snares. It's going to be very interesting. Um, ADHD did not have the best split defense, though, I think. They're going to have to probably try and defend with the Ranger. Uh, they're actually defending with Crip Anguish right now. So Crip Anguish and Warrior, that's actually quite good split defense. So scratch that about the bad, bad split defense. This is a very strong split defense. It looks like Butters is... Gonna run in there and get taken out quite quickly on Frenzy. Going Kamikaze. Meanwhile, we have Ranger from ADHD pushing up a little bit, probably trying to push flag with Crip Shot. A lot of Crip Shots in this tournament with Melandru Shot banned. Looks like Goldie's gonna try and run flag. Alright, ADHD is sort of taking control of the middle, making it hard for OVO to split off and take, make their assassin useful. Honk is trying to find an opening, eat the snare from the Ritualist of ADHD. Comes in a big Shatterstone, so usually Shatterstone is quite bad because it gets really reduced a lot by armor. Like armor stacking is very strong in Shatterstone, but again because of the Ban of armor insignias, Shadow Sound will do quite a lot of damage. So Honk is gonna get caught out by the Crip Anguish here. See if he turns around when this warrior gets near him. There we go, turns around. Ooh, distortion. Distortion is gonna be make this Mesmer very effective at defending this split actually. Because the Sassy might be able to do anything against him. That was remove Hex right there. From Katrina Care. The butter's base reses. It's like OVO is having a lot of trouble getting the flag in. Crip shot doing a lot of work. Holy Val D shot. There's no other snares other than the Crip shot. But it is being effective. It looks like ADHD might get boost. Oh, actually, it's getting through. Oh, takes off the natural stride though with the spirit bomb there. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map. We have the two healers of ADHD getting hurt quite a lot. Being very low. So this is really good news for OVO. It looks like they can take skirmishes with their build quite effectively. Uh, winning this fight in the middle here. Which I think was a 5 on ADHD against 6 on OVO, so they did have a player advantage, but... So, Honk right now on Assassin, getting some archers, he got a free one there. Dodges Cripple, he's gonna eat Crip Anguish here though, and might die. This Mesmer gets in range of him, there we go. So Honk's in some trouble now. Good thing for Honk is that this Crip Anguish might take quite a while to kill him, so he might get a Monk here in time. Might see a Monk moving up. Yep, Katrina Care. Might be a little bit too late though. This Crippling Anguish Fire is actually a high DPS one, so it's got Illusion of Pain and Deep Wound. So more damage than most Crip Anguish Fires would have. Let's get the kill off on Honk. Honk's probably gonna base res. 
but I just won't bother resing that. So I still see a lot of trouble from OVO trying to get the flag in. Um, OVO has a lot of snares in their build, so they'd probably like if they'd be able to really get ahead on flags and start pushing them themselves, but they're forced to run flags on their flag pushing character right now, the Cryptshot Ranger. The Peely can I right there on the Cryptshot, I think. Bit of a misplay. So another thing is there's no Complicate. So Complicate is usually what's used to interrupt the Cryptshot. So Cryptshot is going to be stronger uh, in this tournament because of that, which might be another reason why we're seeing so much of it. The skirmish push on the backside by OVO. Going to run into the Ritualist and the Crippling Anguish. So this guy is defending 2v3, 2v2 now. But they, I think the ADHD can defend comfortably in 2v3 just because of how many snares they've got in the split defense. Like they can always snare and collapse as soon as OVO commits on the split side. I'm not sure why they want to be splitting with the Warrior though. Well, it's very hard to do much with the warrior on the flip side because it takes a long to get it in and out. See some tilting and guild chat. I'll just actually let's see let's see this tilting and guild chat. Let's just leave that there. All right. So yeah, Ali didn't show up to the tournament. Um, looks like because he was busy or he was tired or something, and so. We got FedEx on Protomon for OVO instead. Uh, let's see, erupt on the Shield Guardian there. Oh, I think there might have been a D shot on the Glimmer of Light for ADHD. But ADHD is not under any pressure right now. Rhinos is a main team now, so he's going to be a little bit more favorable. He might be able to do a, a bit more on main team than he was able to do on split side. He does have charge, so he has the option of running flags himself. Uh, if he had a rush, which most Axe Warriors do, he would be quite slow running the flag. Push in front door against Ironhide. So this range is actually quite open right here to getting collapsed on. It's going to be collapsed on by Honk. So Honk is going to miss the cripple. And Ranger will get away. Teleported on Shield Set and just took a little bit too long to switch to his dagger set. And then used leaping a little bit too early, so Mr. Cripple. So, see a 1v1 on the backside with Matoko against TJ. TJ getting quite low, which makes me think that Matoko might have a self heal and TJ not have a self heal. Let's see. So, TJ actually does have Aether Feast according to the builds. And Matoko also does have Aether Feast. Yeah, so builds look quite even. Um, the main difference being that Matogo has three rups, and TJ only has one rupt, and TJ has some more damage, I think. So TJ doing a bit of work in main team, letting this archer maybe be in a little bit of risk. So, not many kills, not much happening right now. Both teams just trying to play the flag game, looks like. Running flags, pushing flags. Godly might start to push up right now. Yep, he's gonna push up. Looks like ADHD double running on Warrior and Rit. Yep, not gonna be collapsing. Actually, sending their problem to split side. I think this is Bromark anyway. So actually opting to have their Ritualist at main team, which is very interesting. It's going to mean that their main team is is weaker than it usually would be. Matoko getting very low. Nice interrupt by Butters. Keeping Matoko alive, maybe. But ADHD does have three damage characters here. And OBO do not have all that much defense. And ADHD do have the snare, so there goes the crippling anguish. But it will be on Butters, I think. But Katina, Katina Care still going down. Not gonna see a red sig. Butters will go down as well. Is the deep wing from accumulated pain. So this is right after term, so very bad news for OBO. 
trying to run flagging right now on their Shadowstone alley. Gonna get hurt a lot. We do have the heal monk here that can draw the cripple, but still gonna be probably a long flag to get in. Should be able to stop the boost on the ADHD. So ADHD is playing quite defensive. You can see that they're holding a number of players in the middle of the map. Even though OVO have two characters dead, uh, ADHD, if they wanted to, could probably play a little more aggressive, you know, push flags, push the front door really, really hard right now, considering OVO is dead. Also, they probably don't know this, but OVO, as I mentioned at the start of the game, only have one res and it's on the Ranger. It's Renew Life, so there's really no risk if they push the front door of OVO running around the back and resing. And they are actually pushing the front door a lot more aggressively now. Score kill on Walkie. They'll probably score maybe another one or two kills, one the godly. Nobody else is really caught out. Nice try gets removed by the rock there and then the spirit wound. Okay, so Ovio didn't lose too much from that. Could have lost a lot more, so that was nice for them to recover. They will probably have a hard time getting this flag out and they did lose their front NPCs and lose all the positioning. Water tried and damage on the archer. ADHD probably gonna pull out now, play it safe. If they stay pushed in like this, it gives an opening for OVO to run out the back door. They don't want to do that. So Matoko 1v1ing the Crip Anguish of ADHD right now. So this is Crip Anguish 1v1. Uh, TJ not gonna take this. He probably could take this to be honest. Well, maybe, I'm not sure. You might not want to risk it because of the three roughs on Matoko. Just playing it safe, and now Joe coming in splits out as well. The response is a little bit late, so they might get an NPC or two off this if they play risky. Uh, Honk going as well on Assassin, so this is leaving Bows and Goldie a main team as the damage. The normal response we'd see would be the Promark going back, but they're going to keep the Promark a main and a damage character back. Which is nice. I mean, they can defend this pretty effectively, I think, because... Oh, that might have been erupt on the heal breeze there, so they're going to have no heals on split side now. This is bad, bad news. For OVO, going to take a death here, maybe. Oh, so close. Get healed by the Illusion of Pain. Now, maybe the reason why TJ doesn't want to take a 1v1 is because the Tiko has Conjure Nightmare, whereas TJ has Illusion of Pain, so... Matoko has the option of just using Illusion of Pain and sorry, Matoko has the option of using Ooh, killed her on the Ritz, sorry. Wasn't paying attention to that. So basically Matoko has the option of using Conjure Nightmare then just running away and letting TJ degen and not being able to heal himself from either beast. The nice kill there on the Rit, the Rit will base res though, not gonna be able to get anything else from it. See so he's defending with the Promark now. I'm gonna push this out. So, this is actually a little bit risky to fight this. Um, so, the O do have the option of turning around. Oh, Joey's a ball strike. Gets a crip anguish, gets covered, gets a snare from the Rit as well. Eats the Wise right and Joe is in big, big, big trouble. This is gonna be Joe dead and possibly even Walkie if Walkie stays here too long. I don't see Joe staying alive, especially the armor of this being erupted. That's really bad news. Yep, Walkie's gonna get away from this. There's no way. Oh, actually, they go off Joe and go on to Walkie. So, Walkie does not escape in time. Yep, does go down. Joe getting snared by the Ritualist. And Joe will go down as well. It's Krippenwish. Alright, so two guys dead on OVO split. Bad, bad news for OVO. They're accumulating a lot of DP. Apply Poison even gets rubbed there for OVO. So not going to be able to put any pressure on ADHD right now. But is getting low, almost going down. Saved by K's at the last second. K's being Katrina K. Going down to Matt's e surge. Matt being the Monk Destroyer. So split from Matoko and Honk, catches out a warrior, warrior might be dead, 
Yeah, should be dead. Looks like Hong. Okay, it does score the kill there. That's gonna be base res though, it's kind of unfortunate for Ovio. All the skills that they score seem, score seem to be right next to the base res. Whereas all the deaths that they take seem to be right after time, so. Looks like Ovio might be talking about forfeiting in the next round and Alliance shot. Alright. See a main team fight, this will be 7v7 I think. No, 7, sorry. But, no, 4 people here on ADHD. So ADHD actually have a pretty significant play disadvantage at main right now. See that they have like, 4 characters on the map against OVO's 2. Which means that OVO has an extra 2 people on main team. But they are playing defensive. Won't take a death from it, OVO is actually going to pull back, which is interesting. Probably figuring they couldn't score a kill off this. Kripanguish pushing him backside, gets a Kripanguish off, covered. No monk nearby. So they could actually force a kill right here, maybe, on Motoko. They're not, they're just going to back off. Fabio pushing that front door a little bit. Getting caught by a full strike on Walkie. KD, dope, taking a lot of damage now. Both the monks are stuck together. This is bad news. Balled up on each other. It's another bull strike on Walkie from the sword of Taki. Oh, almost had another bull strike, but saved by the Guardian right there. They're getting crippled as well. Got all three monks here, but these cripples and body block and knockdowns are really hurting. And Walkie goes down at the time. So the only res being in Godly, Godly's gonna stay in main team. Quickly want to run out the portal maybe. Joke does get sniped off the side, I think. I think by the by TJ on Kripanguish. TJ catches out Toko, erupts the Conjure Fan no Conja Nightmare rather. But does still back off. As Butters comes out the side. Gonna be caught up by the Ritualist though. And DJ and out when TJ gets in. Yep, there comes a Kripanguish and this flag is not gonna be capped. Accumulated pain to finish the job. And this is looking pretty much over for OVA. It's a long time till the base res, and I've only got one monk alive. And all of ADHD's damage is about to be here in OVA's base. There goes Walkie. Actually, res here on, on FedEx. Trying to keep himself up so I can keep the lot up, but very grim situation. Gets our CR. It's rip on himself. Drops the lot. And that will be game. So congrats to ADHD. Uh, bad luck to OVO. Uh, thanks for watching. So this was the first round of the losers bracket. And hopefully there's another game. See you next time.